Crocodile leather briefcase, crocodile leather jacket, and a pair of diamond cufflinks. Forty thousand dollars. Do you want to get them out for me and uh, let's see what we're talking about? So this is an Alfred Donhill. It's gorgeous. That is actually really nice, isn't it? I love it. It's got such class to it, isn't it? So I've got a brown one with a lock on as well. Okay. But this is the only one I've got with me. But if you're not interested in the black one, I can get the brown one brought. Yeah, definitely do some research on it, 100%, because I will need to look this bad boy up to see what kind of money it fetches. So, yeah, I'm going to need that one about 20, 25 minutes, something along those lines. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what the cufflinks as well? I'm guessing being diamond ones, they're going to be gold ones. Yeah, solid white gold. They're Zilli, which is a French designer. And uh, chock full of diamonds is about 2.75 carats on here. How much are you hoping to achieve on these? Well, look, I mean, I know they're not either or any of these pieces aren't going to fetch anywhere close to retail because this is like 25k, these were 30, that's almost 40 in there when you see that. But I'm hoping to get 20% of retail pricing. Okay. You have a thing. <sighs> Go on, hit me. So hit me with some prices when you say 20%. So four, five. Okay, and then on the coffees? Six. 6,000, so we've got six, and we've got four on this bad boy. I'll show you this jacket as well. I'm going to do some research. Do you know what? They would make insane um, a matching earring and ring. Yeah, they would. Cause... Cufflinks just are not so popular, simply because like the heritage of our country has fallen like our country is about to. I know, I know. So not many people wear shirts and stuff anymore. I've got so many pin badges, buttons, all sorts, but no one. You do your research and you see the brand, you'll understand. I can see by the quality of them that if I still had my cufflink shirt to more than daily, yeah, yeah, I would yeah, want yeah, to put yeah. them in. But well, I got so yeah, I need about 25 minutes with them, somewhere along those lines. Do a couple tests on them, do a bit of research. Um, worst case scenario, if I can't make you a high enough offer, would you like to put them on sale or return with us? Uh, Explain that to me. So we'll put a video out on socials, gets millions of views. We'll also uh, document them on uh, the content out the back, so that gets even more views. Then we'll put them on our website and we sell them for you. So you give us a price. Say you wanted to take home four on them. We'll put a margin on top of your four. We'll try and sell them for you. And if they sell, then we can get you that maximum amount of money out of them as well. Okay. So it's always a secondary option. I probably wouldn't do that with these. Yeah. I'll probably want something for them today. Yeah. The other ones, I could, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. I've got some pictures of them. I've got a short video I can show you. Even better. Come on. Well, me and I will pop around. Come and grab them now. We'll do some research. And if you want to pop back in around 25 minutes, we will see you then. Yeah. And uh, go from there. I might want to look at this thing. I do actually. Please pop it out for me and let me have a quick look because I'm intrigued of what it looks like. So it's Brioni, it's the suits that Daniel Craig wears. Yeah. Warm for all the James Bond films. Very famous Italian designer. Lambskin crocodile leather jacket. That's mad. It's actually incredible, isn't it? $40,000. That's crazy. I won't ask for too, as much for this. Yeah. How much are you hoping to hit on it? $4,000. Cool. Let's do some research 100%. Have you had anything like this before? More expensive, quirky, and really peculiar items that are worth loads and loads and loads, but nothing that's so sought after to resell. However, these are gorgeous, and I reckon they'll hit really good money. So, yeah, I definitely will come around and grab them off you. You know something? What? When I came in and I had a chat with you, I had no idea you had a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, come on. I, was, I, was not, I wasn't even logged in, yeah, on the YouTube, and I saw you come up and I recommended and I watched that short with that uh, that lady with the LV hard yeah. case. Oh, uh, uh, that was with the lawyer, right? Really. The briefcase there. Yeah. yeah. It's literally the hard case. We've got some crazy stories to come out. If that hardware wasn't tarnished, I'd snap that up. Yeah. It's a, that's a pretty gorgeous one. I know. Yeah, the it, problem is it's initial. Yeah. Tell me why this bag is worth 25,000. Alfred Dunhill, brilliant brand, really okay. prestigious English brand. Um, they're up there with like the elite brands that we still have in the UK. Yeah, yeah, like Birkin, Goyard, like, well, better than Goyard, but like Birkin. Sure. But this, all of what you're seeing there is crocodile belly cut. So okay, it's cool. not alligator. I'll talk, I can tell you how to tell the difference later, but because it's all belly cut and there's no scars on it, that's what makes it so valuable. And this is what makes it £25,000, which yeah, is crazy. So... When they sell crocodile leather, it's graded similarly to diamonds. Okay. So in, in different strata. And if there's any scars on it, it makes it very difficult to sell. But with it being saltwater crocodile, which is a very aggressive form of species and they keep them in the farms, they fight all the time. Yeah. You know, they walk on their belly skin, yeah. which means they scar and scratch. So to get enough belly skin to make a whole bag or a jacket out of it without any scars on, makes it very expensive. Okay, okay, I completely understand that. So, and how much are you hoping to get back for it? Somewhere between four or five. Cool. And realistically, before I go and get my, doing all my research, what do you believe we could stick it out for? 
I don't know, you've got the clientele. Our clientele is massive and the video is what will sell it. Honestly, the video will sell this bag and it's a beautiful, beautiful piece in immaculate condition. Yeah. Um, if you're looking at 45, I'll just stick 10% on, maybe a little bit more, yeah. just so people can haggle me down. Yeah. But um, so everyone knows, it's a 25,000 pounds worth of a bag going for around five to 6,000 within that range and we, there is room for negotiation. And this bag is a crazy, crazy piece. I wish I could put it through the camera so you guys could see, but it's a crazy, crazy piece. So, the uh, next thing. Tell me the history of this, how much this is worth before I get my team. Sure, so it really depends with crocodile jackets, but you can get a similar one like this in the Mayfair Brioni store for about $40,000. How many dollars? $40,000. $40,000 for a jacket. That's crazy. I used to have one, which was Zilli, so same brand as a Cofflinx, and it was all red and all of it was crocodile, so back, back sleeves, front, everything, solid gold zip and it had a sable collar. It um, apparently it used to belong to Neymar, so it had his initials inside. And uh, it was worth about 120K a year. 100, you had it? I had it. 120,000? Yeah, I bought it at school, because I bought it in a auction for next to nothing, but I sold it for about 15. I think this is prob this is our craziest item this year so far, oh, so by far. Like, that is we've a got, day date and a Cuban Yeah, so we've one. got $40,000 in the jacket. We've got another, Twenty-five thousand pounds in a bag, in a bag yeah. plus how and plus another a lot for the cufflinks. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. So with this stuff, do you have invoices? No. So this one's purely by itself. Uh, it's not like the other pieces I have. The bag has an invoice. No. Okay. Cool. No. No. So I'm not. I this one was a gift. Yep. And this one I bought second hand. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, likewise, I bought these second hand, but there are other pieces I do have invoices for. Cool. I'm just keen to hang on to them. Of course, of course, of course. Just obviously, when selling it, if I can show a client an invoice as well. It does a lot, I know. But, um, I, know. Obviously, I will get everything completely checked out over as well with it all. And value. So, um, I know you said 40,000. I forgot to ask, how much are you hoping for back on it? This was four to five as well. But it's just a little small for me, so that's why I'm yep. getting rid of it. I've got a Kiton one, which is similar. It's a very similar brand to Brioni. I know Brioni, an Italian brand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I have the jeans. They go for like six, seven hundred yeah, pair of jeans. Yeah. Exactly. There's, um, I've got another one with larger scales, which adds to the value of the leather. But the um, the back and sleeves are suede, lambskin suede, instead of um, that kind of sheer suede, um, sheer skin there. And I might I might bring that into sell because it's a little big for me. So the opposite of this. And this is the perfect place, honestly, to get attention on the well, stuff. Yeah, and so I saw your traction online and I was thinking, Great. these guys could do something. <laughs> so. so, for last thing, these beautiful, probably the biggest diamond cufflinks I've seen. So how much are these diamond cufflinks going for? So these are really tricky to right. put value on because they hardly ever come up um, online at all. Um, there's an interesting fact about Zilli. They were the one luxury brand in 2008 that still increased its revenue because their clients were so rich it didn't matter what really happened to them yeah. but you can look in the 2008 harrods catalog and you'll find these pieces for thirty thousand pounds so, so these cufflinks a while ago used to go for thirty thousand yeah. pounds just yeah. for some normal cufflinks 2008 as well. insane and that's 2008 so now we're fetching 40 maybe 50. second hand value again i always go for 20 percent um, especially with these, it's a very solid brand, they're very desirable. These are like Hermes in the way that they're a very prestigious French brand and um, if people know what they're looking at, then they'll want them basically. So what's the price you're hoping back, 20% of? No less than six. No less than 6,000, okay. I'd say a larger margin, like six to eight, but I just don't know what you guys can. Of course, we, we can obviously push it out. If we get offers less, I'll phone yeah. you. If we get more, I can let you know. Um, Obviously, these would be items for sale and return, sell them for you. Right, okay. uh, offer cash out. So, to capitalise on your money back, the best way is going to be sell and return. If I'm going to have to buy these bits, yeah. um, I would offer a fraction of what I can offer you in sell and return right. for the one reason I'm having to invest a chunk of money right. for items which aren't guaranteed going to flip quickly, mm. but uh, with my margin. Okay. But if it's with you, you set all your prices, I would generally just stick a bit on top, yeah. give me a week or two. Yeah. Once this video is live, it will get so much attention. Okay. That's how your product will sell, and it allows you to capitalise on your money back. Right. In terms, what I mean is, if I have to dig my money 
and put it in. I, I want to earn more. Okay. If you've got it, I just stick a tiny bit on top, just uh, so we both eat, you know? Yeah, skin right. in the game. Yeah, sure. um, so I'll, I will get all your name and details. Do you have any more information on these in terms of what carrot of diamonds so are yeah, in there? Sticker on the bottom from, uh, no, so take them out, pull that little tab there, and it should tell you the carrot weight, and this is from Okay, from cool. Sure. So 2.75 um, carat worth of diamonds, 19.75 grams, yeah. and they are bicolor gold, cool. So cool, yeah, I'm assuming they're 18. Gold. It's a white gold stem and torpedo back with a yellow gold crown. The perimeter diamonds are fancy brown colour and the centre diamonds are flawless and colourless. It's crazy. You've honestly bought me the craziest items so far of this. I, I, have, I have more to show you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what you can do for me. So we're doing sale and return on everything. Let's do it.